Hello and welcome to this Certified Technology Specialist Introduction. I'm Gelby, I'm a design consultant and creator of electronics. Over the past decade, I've been designing secure, stable and scalable solutions for the media and pro AV industries. My experience spans music and post-production as well as broadcast. My goal in this video course is simple. The idea is to give you the clearest path to earning your CTS credential. I've worked with some of the best organizations worldwide. I've been always focusing on user-centric, future-proof, and cost-effective designs. With a master's in sound design and a stack of industry certifications, I've also shared knowledge through the AES UK committees and other audio technology working groups. But enough about me, let's dig into what CTS is all about. A CTS professional designs, implements, and services AV systems to enable advanced communication. Think immersive conference rooms, high-definition telepresence, live corporate events, or digital signage networks. If it involves media, live production, or interactive presentations, a CTS is always there, on time, and on budget. You might be wondering, why earn my CTS? The CTS credential can elevate your career, whether you are brand new to the AV industry or you've been in the game for a few years, many requests for proposals now require a CTS on staff. It's also ISO and IEC accredited, which adds a layer of global recognition. Plus, Avixa reports that CTS holders often earn more than their peers. If you want industry credibility, this is it. Let's cover the purpose of the CTS exam. It's an independent, psychometrically validated test of your AV knowledge and skills. Subject matter experts and professional test developers update its contents on a regular basis. This is to stay in step with real-world AV tasks. Passing it proves you're in line with the high standards in the industry. So are you eligible for CTS? Chances are yes. There's no mandatory class or degree required. You simply need familiarity with AV systems and the content outline from Avixa. If you're uncertain, Avixa's practice tests and job task analysis can help you figure out where you stand. The application process is straightforward. You simply submit your paperwork, pay the fee, and you're on your way. In terms of the CTS exam scope, it covers a wide range of AV fundamentals. Everything from system design and installation to project management basics. A job task analysis shapes the test content, ensuring it reflects the work professionals do on a daily basis. Avixa re-evaluates and fine-tunes this scope so the exam never lags behind the current industry practices. There is no single magic bullet for preparing for the exam. You can, of course, use my video course, and Avixa also offers multiple resources, study guides, online courses, and in-person training and practice exams. Many people find a combination of hands-on experience plus structured study to be most effective. My top tip is to identify your weaknesses early and plan your study time around those topics. One key thing to think about is how to evaluate questions on exam day. The CTS exam is all multiple choice. My recommended strategy for you is to read each question fully before glancing at the answers. You start by eliminating obviously incorrect options. If you are unsure, mark the question and come back to it later. Don't leave any question unanswered. Picking what you know is better than picking nothing. 
So what to expect on exam day? On test day, please arrive early with two valid forms of ID. You will have a 150 minutes to answer 110 multiple choice questions. 10 of those are unscored pilots. No phones, no calculators are allowed. Just you and the computer. You will see your score immediately. Mind you, there is a survey at the end. And if you don't pass, you can retake after 30 days. So that's it. That's our introduction to the CTS credential. We've covered everything from what a CTS does to how to study to what to expect on exam day. If you're ready to take the next step, head on to the next video, map out your study plan, and let's get you on the path to becoming a certified technology specialist. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.